Hi everybody. Hi mom. Okay, this is the full version of the Secret Garden Journal. <laughs> I decided I was going to show you the inside after all because I probably will send it off and forget to film it because I do things like that. So let's get started. You saw the front. I, I didn't do anything and I think I showed you the beads and the whole bit and I did the pamphlet stitch in this one and I believe it's a uh, Duncan Hines or Betty Crocker, probably Betty Crocker cake box that I used to uh, make the cover. Used a napkin and I used a button from Crafty Irina and these are also from Irene and you know some of the stuff's dollar store things and uh, Hobby Lobby, eBay, um, Irene made this too. So there's a lot of Irene in this book. <laughs> and I just used um, a hairband as its closure. So we'll get started. Um, what I had done to hold the button in was um, I pushed it through an eyelet. So there's the shank. And then I used this um, pink bobby pin. And um, then I slid this little... Uh, bird cage on there that I had I don't know if that shows very well but I did kind of color it a little bit with the uh, pink alcohol ink and then I printed a bunch of these uh, different this one is a postcard it, it says postcard right on it and I printed it on um, cream cardstock that is from uh, Michaels and it's their uh, thinner weight their 60 pound or 65 whatever it is um, yeah uh, used, I don't even know where this, I think it's Kane Company paper, actually, that I used for the signatures. There are two signatures, yes, two very fat signatures <laughs> in here. And I used a variety of things um, that I just found in my stash. I just kept pulling pink stuff out. Uh, so this is a little chipboard bird. He was like a horrendous uh, green color. So I... Um, I think I gessoed it first a little bit and then I covered it in um, a mix of the Tim Holtz embossing powder that's um, distress embossing powder and then something else I had. Little pink heart shaped button on there, um, you know, different cutouts. This is just like a piece of paper that was already corner rounded and I liked it. I was going to do something to it and then change my mind and I just ended up doing these little twisty doodads with the... Uh, uh, Brad and I just put one of my little crocheted hearts on there and you know like I said before when I have cutoffs that are 12 by 12 and I don't know it's about three inches maybe maybe a little wider four inches maybe I back them back to back and then um, I can sew them in the middle of the signature and end up with a little photo spot um, Another ticket, some glassine bags I used, and everything is done with the washi. Um, one of my, well, this is actually a different folded pocket that I did. Yeah, it's just basically fold, fold it in half, and then just fold down one corner so that you, it's actually thicker in here because I didn't cut it away. And then just added some trim. Another little postcard. Um, just on the cream card stock and as you can tell I did not tea dye anything it wasn't that kind of journal to me um, it kind of said something else to me so I went with white and pink and the the pink is actually copy paper I got it that color and didn't have to do anything to it so stamped I did some doilies that I layered and then did some uh, embossing powder on the edge there's another Card. some more stamping and I did some modeling paste on this bag the bags actually what my medicine comes in so there is some junk in this you guys which is kind of unusual for me <laughs> this is the graph paper that I downloaded and this was um this is part of a napkin the full the bigger parts on the other side and then I just adhered one of the little postcards onto here just for some, you know, color. Some more stamping. Uh, 
And this is also a junk envelope. This was uh, from my bank. And I split it. And um, I, I, can't, I don't know whose tutorial that was, but she, uh, she makes a template of the one corner, puts it on the split side to, so that it matches. And then I edged it with the little leftover piece of paper I had. And it, it is a tuck spot with some stamping. And then on this side, uh, I put a doily. And then this was a, a, a um, it's a little thin chipboard butterfly that's already sparkled. And they're from Irene. And then I just did this um, frontage key. It's just a chipboard key, but I kind of put it as its body. I thought that was kind of neat. And then I did this adorable little booklet, which is loaded with um, line, just lined paper. And then I found one of these little, um, I don't know, they're from a paper collection. I have a few still leftover die cuts that you just cut apart. And then I did kind of a split page here. Again, it's one of those pockets, but you know, this is the full version. So you can see, you just fold it up and then you, you fold it in and you create a little tuck spot. And I trimmed it in cotton and did one of these. This one's really pretty. It's a seed pack. And then I found a bunch of pink papers, you know, leftover papers. So I just, whoops, ran them through uh, my Tim Holtz die. And this this is really old, actually. This, is, this was on this awesome chipboard piece. So yeah, I'll be using that. Um, I've had this since probably the 80s. And it was the right pink, so I decided to use it, which is probably why I had it for so long, because I don't even wear pink, really, you guys. So, yeah, I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> One of my little pockets that I made. Envelopes? Envelopes. Yeah. And then this um, little guy was a gift. I believe it's Kelly Gilbert gave me that. And another little doily well the other side of it I guess and then I trimmed it out in this little piece here so that's a tuck spot again some more I really like this stamp so pretty and more stamping more stamping and some washi because I did a flip with this um, download from Pinterest and stamped a bunch of little things here and I, again another um, I believe the paper, it is, it's from Irene. She gave me a pretty paper pack. And um, so I sat and cut like pretty much the whole thing up and gifted some of them out. And this is one of my crocheted flowers and I just did some of the trim plus a little bit of uh, uh, seam binding that I had colored myself. And there's the other side of that napkin which is absolutely gorgeous. More graph paper. There's the other side of the um, little paper bag that I cut the end off of. And then I did that stencil on that side. And here I created a little tuck area here. Um, and this is uh, a ticket that I had altered. So then I found this little piece of pink um, that I had cut out on a long time ago and just stuck it to that piece. And then, yeah, it's just decorative. There's the envelope that I actually, oh, sorry guys, that um, matches the um, napkin and just made a flip out in another little tuck spot there because this side is so pretty. So I put that as the decoration on that side. Uh, another tag, and I did it opposite of the other one. And then I did a belly band out of this really pretty lace and downloaded this one. Now, these colors right here, this is completely, totally me. I love, love, love these colors. Yeah, I had to add some in there. There's the other side of the glassine bag. And this I just stuck in there. I had it cut out and it's pink. It's black on the other side, but yeah, it's cute. I can use it for something. And, he, and I just wanted to show them that it's actually a tuck spot. And here's another one of those um, sparkled up ones that I just changed the color on it. 
and I did do some uh, embossing around the edge and just in the center. So that's the first signature. Second signature is very similar, although I did end up, um, I screwed this tag up and I didn't want to waste the paper, so I just made, I took it punched the corners and made it just kind of a little place you can journal. Now another one of the tags. This one says remember. There's um, this one I did in a, um, it's called Pearl, I believe. And it's a really big doily, so I just uh, cut the the bottom of it off instead of, you know, folding it or whatever. I, I wanted the full page. So that's all I did to it. And then I had a piece of this left over from a six by six pad, and it's such a pretty pink. So I used that, it's just white on that side. And I did staple the bottom of these just to hold them down. And I meant to tell you guys, when I do that, when I staple, I take my uh, pl my flat pliers and just give it a squish. And that way on this side, it's nice and flat and um, it doesn't stick up and it doesn't wreck anything on the other side. I did a little embossed owl there with some, I don't, I don't know if it shows up, but they're little banners cut out of the washi. And, a, and another tag. And again, the bird. Some more graph paper. And this is um, the little card. Love that. It goes with the envelope. And then I just stapled a little bow here with a little tag and a little banner. And it is a tuck. And did some stamping. And some more stamping. And then I put the bird stencil on that one, and the little doily in the corner. I like that stencil. I mean, stamp. I just got off work, and I just crossed the border, so I'm tired. I found this leftover piece, which I absolutely love, and it had the pink. It is peachy color, but it had a lot of pink in it, so I just edged chalk. I don't know. If, no, I think it's pigment ink that I used. Uh, in a light pink around the edge, and, and I did the same on that side. So it's a nice tag. I'm having difficulty holding this. It's sliding everywhere. And then in the middle, I just did... Um, this is a, a new uh, doily die I have that for that Martha Stewart one. You can get different heads for it. And then on this side is... a that download which is one of my favorite ones. I'm going to be doing a book out of that one. Another paper bag, another stencil, some more stamping, and then I did this ginormous paper clip. <laughs> I found these paper clips at um, the dollar store I think and they're huge and they came in pink and green. And I thought, well, this is awesome. I love green, and I don't really care for pink. So um, that's perfect. It works for the book. So I just sewed the... Um, this is a beaded flower that I made. I sewed it onto the top of the paper clip, and then I hot glued just one of my little hearts onto the back of it. And it won't go anywhere. It's on there. And, um, yeah, I just stuck them on this one because this is actually... Uh, on the other side, well, this piece is the other side of that card, the bird card, so it's really thick. And then on this side, I did a belly band, so it's really thick. And I thought it was perfect uh, for that. And I just um, put in that uh, seed pack. And that way, it, it definitely won't fall out. But, I mean, they don't have to keep it in the book, for sure. Uh, now I can't get it back in. No, nope, I can. Anyway, um... Yeah, it, <laughs> I really wanted to put one in there, <laughs> so I forced it, because <laughs> it's it's a it's a chunky book. It's definitely thick. Uh, there's tons of journaling spaces here. Another ticket again from my friend Irene, and then there's the other side of that, and another one of the um, tags with the pretty pretty pink flowers in it. And then I did some banners so that it is a tuck here, but this is also a tuck down here. And then again, another one of the birds with them. Um, I made his wing the heart, right? That's why I did it sideways, in case you didn't clue into that. 
<laughs> I'm punchy. <laughs> and the last page, I did a pocket. So I was telling you guys before, I cut it out, like I printed it twice so that I could just cut the bottom part and then you've got the full picture. And, but it is a tuck. And again, I used green. Actually, I actually think I just put that in upside down. I did. And just some sparkle ribbon. I don't know. I think that's from the dollar store as well. Closes nice and easy. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's fairly chunky and, you know, bead heavy. So that is for the swap. And uh, I think that's coming up next month. So anyway, I'm all caught up with my swaps. The British one's done, this one's done, and I'm taking a little break, just a little one, and I'm going to be altering a bum, uh, gum, bum, <laughs> oh my goodness, sorry you guys, gum ball machine. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got to say. And I don't know if I'll be sharing this weekend. But, you know, if I end up like ideas like this for the gumball machine, then you'll be seeing that too. Thanks for tuning in. See you later. Bye.